Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, how you doing? How you doing, Jeff? Doing all right. I'm going to say hello to everybody on YouTube. And yes, we are going to be doing from point A to point B flying today. Last time we saw um, saw bugs uh, get to get the landings down and all that good stuff. Today we're actually going to learn a little bit about navigation. So I may even let him play with the autopilot. We'll see. So mm. you can go ahead and uh, fire her up. Alrighty, so let's do master on, um, mixture in, correct key. There we ABI go. It's on. Oh, maybe I'm sure already on. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. But yeah, you had you had Drones that right. Are on beacon on uh, nav on. Uh, I think we're good. All right. I'm letting my things catch up. Yeah, my, even my my end is running a little slow too because we're both uploading video. Yeah, we're both uploading and, and <laughs> it's, it's taking a toll. <laughs> yeah, it's not liking us so much. No. no. Um, Only you YouTubers knew what we went through. <laughs> I <sighs> know. We do go through a lot <laughs> for it. Okay. All right. So nearest I'm looking here KHWD HWD KHWD where are we yeah are we in Livermore yeah we're in Livermore uh oh and we're gonna right, fly to Hayward to? executive Hayward okay you know where Hayward is wow yeah all right yep so that's it's a 14 mile trip not too long um, actually, I'm going to teach you how to use the GPS a little bit. So hit Shift three, bring your GPS up. Right. Um, I can probably yeah, I can make this smaller with my mouse. Yeah, you make smaller. You can resize them. Yeah. Once my mouse wants to uh, spawn up here. Okay. Right, there we go. It does that stupid thing every now and then where uh, it decides that it's too far away from the computer. Right. Because it's, you know, electronics are on. Yep. All right, so you got the GPS up? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Hit the, you see the direct button? It's got, it's, it's underneath the range. It's got a D with a arrow through it. It's on the right side. Get a D with an arrow to it. Uh, going, oh, yes. Going through it, yeah. There you go. Okay. And, and um, I already have Hayward Executive already loaded up. You see that? Um, or is it nothing in yours? No. All right. No, I don't, I don't see anything. <clears throat> okay. So you see where it says push cursor? The big one down there? Bottom right? Uh, yes. Okay. The first set of arrows, I want you to click that once, the plus. Okay. Now okay. type type in with your keyboard, K-H-W-D. Kilo. K-H. WD K w so Kilo e. Yep Kilo Hotel Do, uh, Whiskey Delta and then hit enter the yep. e ENT that's you see the ENT on the right uh, yeah yep hit that and then hit it again because we want to activate it yep hit it again activate there you go now you see that little magenta line right. that's been drawn to it yep if you if you now on the range on the top right range button if you hit you can zoom in and out of it with a minus and plus key. Right. So that's how uh, we know where where we're going. But you see the distance to track will be two four seven. So on our heading yeah. bug, we can we can go ahead and just put two four seven, which is going to be a little uh, about right over in, uh, about right over here. Something right All in right. there. I, so we know which what direction we're going to fly. And also, if you know notice here, you see where your altimeter is? Um, yes. Okay. To the right of that, you see the cross? Yeah. Okay. See how, how I'm moving that back and forth? Okay, yeah. Okay. Above it, you see the nav and GPS? Navigation uh -huh. is what we would use if we're going to fly VORs, which you're going to learn how to do. But GPS, boom, is going to show us the GPS line. So when we get up in the air, you can actually follow this thing. See how that thing goes left and it go also goes right. It'll show you how far left and right you are from course. Oh, okay. cool. 
So we'll get into that. But all right, let's go ahead and taxi this bird out. Let's get going. All right, do you have control or do I? Um, I currently have you control. Do, yeah. Yep. All right, I have control. All right, first things first. Let's try to see if the brakes work. Let me release the parking brake. Yep. All right. Yeah, I see brakes popping up. You're using it. So go ahead and go forward, hit brakes. All right, forward. Yep. Okay, you got brakes. It, it pops up for like a second, and then it goes away. Yeah. Okay, let me let me try and see what mine's doing. Whoa, hello. Yeah, I'm not touching anything. It's all right. Okay. Now see if you can, if you have brakes again. Nope. None, right? No. That is so weird. I don't get that. What about now? Yeah, as soon as... No. As soon as you take control of brakes, I lose my... Let's try transferring control again. All right. All right. I'm going to send it back to you. I'm not going to touch the brakes this time. Nope. That is just stupid. <laughs> All right, well, we need to that. Yeah, it. let's just go ahead and tack down let's to the runway. That. Seven left. Wind should be kind of the same they were before. Now, well, now they're at one five seven at ten. So yeah, we'll still we'll still take off on seven left, but it'll be a little uh, different. We can make a ride up here. There you go. I'll set our instruments. Looks like we're good. There we go. Oh. Oh, sorry. Am I moving your GPS as well? No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I was just moving my GPS. Get out of my uh, field of view there. Oh. You don't have to have it up. You can put it away. That's all right. I mean, I got to a spot now where it's good. Okay. It's all good. No right, problem. So we're going to go up here take a right. Yep, take a right. And we're going to go ahead and assume that we're going to be clear for takeoff. So <clears throat> we'll go landing light, strobe. We don't need nav lights during the day. We're not uh, operating right, as a commercial turn those on, light. Um, actually, I can get them for you. Ooh. Oh, my airplane texture's loaded, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's not a matte black jet or plane anymore. <laughs> I think it might just be something to do with us uploading video right now. Just bogging everything yeah, down. Yeah, it's just, you know. Trying to do too much at once. Exactly. All right. So is this a good taxi speed? Yeah, this is a great taxi speed. All right, now no, here's no. slow down, slow down. I got us. Okay, let's taxi over to the right, onto that pad over there, the run-up pad. This one. Yep. And then I want you to spin that airplane all the way around into the wind. The wind is 157 at 10. So we want to turn all the way to 150. There you go. And then you can, oop. Well, it's south. Turn left a little more to 150. Oh, I'm sorry. 150. Yeah, 150. It's alright. Alright. That's good. Now set the parking brake by hitting control period. Uh, control period. All right. Okay, brakes are set. Now what I want you to do is um, rev the engine up to about 1800 RPM. Okay, and over there on the left key, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna turn it to the L and wait for the and watch the 50 drop on the RPM and then turn it back to both. Uh, okay. L? 
Yep, there it is. Back to both. All right. Okay, and then do the right one. There it is. Okay, back to both. You hear that? You hear that fifty drop? That's how we know both magnetos yeah. are working on the airplane. So now at this point, we want to oh. check our uh, all of our instruments, and they're all in green vacuum. Uh, your amp, uh, your oil pressure and temperature. So if everything's in green, we're good to go. Yep. All right. Good. So you can throttle back. Now we, what we would do now is we test, uh, we check our instruments. So looking at the, um, looking at our direction, or, or sorry, our heading indicator that's showing us at one five five or so. If you look up on the um, compass right there on the dash, you can see it's about one five five. See that? Right. And the compass is always going to be going opposite direction of how the card spins on the uh, heading indicator. See how the he oh, heading yeah. indicator, like, it, it's always going to be kind of backwards from it. So, like, see how 155 is to the right for the um, indicator? But on yeah. the on the compass, it shows to the left towards south. Okay, yeah, so, that's what was messing me up last time. Yeah. I was looking at the dash. And it was, you were saying go to the right, and I was like, it looks like it's to the left. So. <laughs> yeah, always remember that All the right. um, okay. the compass is a little off, is backwards. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, okay, we're good. Um, okay, let's go ahead and taxi over to the runway. Can release the brakes. I released my brakes. Can you okay. release your brakes? Are you on the brakes? I'm not on the brakes. Oh, there we go. Yeah, For some reason, what was going this guy give it a little bit of gas. All right, so we can go ahead and line up on the runway. So we would call Livermore Tower, Sussman November 9532 Kilo, ready to go, runway 7 left. And they'd say 9532 Kilo, clear for takeoff, runway 7 left. And we we're going to be going a south departure, approved. We'd say clear for takeoff, runway 7 left, 32 Kilo. All right. So you've got it from here. Go ahead and uh, let's get us in the air. All righty. And I'll call V1. V1, rotate. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Positive rate. Get that nose on the horizon. Door at 80 knots. Whoa, hello. Whoa, we're yeah, way off center line. That way. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we had a direct we had a direct crosswind on takeoff. Jeez, that's a bit nuts. It's still pushing me. Yeah, you need to turn into the wind. There you go. Keep her on the uh, horizon at 80 knots. There you go. <clears throat> and now we can start our right turn once we cross a thousand feet. And we're going to turn to heading uh, two. Five, two, four, seven, which I already have marked on the heading bug for you. Alrighty. Feeling good. And we'll climb to 3,000 feet. Yeah, the wind's a little bit different now. Yeah. It's a bit different today. <laughs> Yep, looking good. Got the 80 knots. We can go ahead and uh, accelerate to 90 knots. So you can trim it for that. Alrighty. Very nice. Coming up on our 247. There you go. Okay, how are the uh, textures? Way better? Um, yeah. Everything's looking pretty good. Is that snow? Or is that warm water? Uh, snow. We're at on our left? To the left, yeah. I, I think it's water. Oh, that's water over there. Uh, I don't know why there's water over there. <laughs> oh, no. You're oh, you're talking about it off in the distance? No, just to the left, like right under us. Oh. 
like on the other side of that freeway. You see it? Oh, it's it's water. It's just the hmm. sun hitting it. Odd. Uh, well, I just I don't understand why there's one more there. Like in real life, I don't I don't believe there's one more there. But then again, I'm not totally sure where this airport's at. Though so those lakes in the city. Uh, yeah, probably very possible. All right. Currently, we are tracking two five one, and we want two four seven. So a little more to the left, but we're fine. Thirteen miles out. Once we get to be about mm, 10 miles, I just wanted to get over these mountains. Once we cross over these mountains, we'll start our descent down to 1,500 feet. But as of for now, right. we're going to climb to 3,000. But doing well. Look at that. We're at 90 knots. Looking good. And normally, we would, in real life, we would turn off our landing light. But we're not going to in this, only because we are going to be operating close to Bravo Airspace. So, it's just for uh, in Bravo Airspace, so we're going to be kind of not worrying about yeah. that. Since there's no other airplanes around. We're the only ones in the sky. Now you see that little needle that I showed you earlier? See how it's pointing to the right a little bit? Yeah. That's telling us you need to go to the right a little bit more. And then once that needle gets to the center, then you can turn back on that regular heading again, and we'll be heading right for it. Everything's looking good so far. Oh, decrease engine, right? Yep, you're good. Not a problem. Go ahead and descend back down to 3,000. I changed the altimeter on us. <laughs> I tried setting that before, but it wouldn't let me. It kept knocking it back. And we always want to make sure our correct altimeter setting before we head out, but it's all right. We're doing fine. Yeah, so the uh, plan of action here is to get you familiar with flying to another airport. And then when we come back to Livermore, we're going to get you to do your uh, solo. So when we come, so we'll, we'll, we'll do a touch and go here at this airport. We're not going to land here full stop. All right. We'll do a touch and go, and then we'll head back to Livermore, and we'll do uh, some touch and goes. And then we'll do your solo. Where I don't, I'm not technically with you, and I won't be. I'll be. I'll be in. I'll be in the uh, tower view the whole time. All right. But knowing that you're recording, I'll be able to judge it from your view. <laughs> so don't try any shortcuts. <laughs> like auto pilot and all that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're about seven miles now. Let's start our descent down to 1,500 feet. And what I want you to do is go ahead and uh, make our left turn to 247. All right. Back to that heading bug. We want, we're going to intercept uh, this at about hmm, a 45-degree angle to the, to the airport so we can join the pattern. To join a pattern at an airport, you always join it 45 degrees to the downwind. Oh, okay. So that's what we're essentially doing here. We've got winds. Winds are 073. <clears throat> so they're right down that old other runway we, we took off of. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set our general wind direction on the heading bug. So that will might help us. Zero seven zero. See, I'm moving the heading bug so I can show you. You can use that so you know where the uh, wind's coming from. Okay, so you're going to reposition. I've got the airport in sight. Do you have it in sight out there? Uh, uh, no. 
The airport is right oh, wait, off wait, wait. our yep. nose. Yep. I yep. See it. And you see that runway that goes off towards the bay there on the right? It's kind of at a slant. Uh, uh, no, I do not see that. Okay, it's it's about like a three zero kind of heading. Descend. We want to descend down to fifteen hundred feet. So you can pull that power out a little bit. Actually, you can go ahead and pull it back to 1,500 RPM. So now what you're seeing all the same roads I'm seeing. Now you can see all the highways and roads now, right? Yeah. So you see that main highway we're going to be coming across into the right. We have mm -hmm. that interchange. We're going to fly yeah. over this highway, and we're going to fly over that interchange, and we're going to head down a little further and make our left. That way you, because now we're visually planning out our approach to that airport. You see how, how it works? Right. Yeah. So we'll get a little closer. <clears throat> Actually, not this one. You see how we have, we're coming up on this highway, and then there's another one, and then there's the space into the next one? Yeah. We'll go to the third one. Okay, this third one? The, yeah, that one will be, a, will be a lot closer to the airport. You should have the airport and runway in sight by now. I, I have the. I think I see the runway. Yeah. Yeah, that big long guy is the runway, and the one on the left is a big displaced threshold with the yellow chevrons on it. Uh, but, but we're going to be landing into the wind, so we're going to be going the opposite direction of that one. So you want me to follow this? Uh, Keep flying. This, this yeah, this road's fine. Let's get down to about twelve hundred feet. And we're looking like we're starting to parallel it pretty good. We can turn right a little more. It's not too much. About right there. So, yep. And you see that, that little town out here? Like all these little buildings that are popping up? Yeah. We're going to fly towards that. And then we'll, we're going to turn left to make our base here in a second. I'll let you know when. So, we're almost to that. Uh, to the threshold. So, we can go 10 degree flap. And pull the power back a little bit. Now we can turn left to our base leg. We're just going to be doing a little longer base here. Because we are two miles from the airport. I didn't want you to do a real tight approach here because you're not familiar with the airport yet. Okay, you can yeah. square, it, square it up a little bit. Square up our approach. There you go. Just like that. Our, our base. Remember, nice and easy movements. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you can give a little more power. We don't want to be at our 70 knots yet. We want to be maintaining about 80. So we're on a nice, we're on a base now to that runway. You can go ahead and add in a 20 degree flap. Uh, do you have that runway in sight yet? Yeah. We want to the left, right? Yep. We want that big, the big one. Yep. I do yeah. I see it. Keep an eye on our altitude and give, give. Remember, give power for altitude. We don't want to get too low. Oh yeah. See now, since I gave you that tweaked modified file, you see how much smaller those white lights are. They're not yeah. big. They're not big and bright anymore. They're they're a lot closer to more like real life. So now we want to fly that those lights and those lights we want red over white. Remember white on white were too high. So we can yeah. go ahead and turn final now. Now you got the runway in sight, and uh, we'll pull that power out a little bit. Add our uh, last or thirty degree of flat. There you go. And the reason why we're still high, even though that runway looks a little closer than it is is because um, we have a displaced threshold. We're not allowed to land on that runway until after those piano keys. All those arrows, we're not allowed to land on, okay? Okay. So keep that in mind. Act like that's just terrain, like we can't land there. All right. So keep your eye on the normal markers and all that good stuff. And remember, pitch for airspeed and power for altitude. Right on the glide slope. See how much more realistic these lights look? 
Yeah. Yeah. They're not like bright and cartoony. All right, looking really good. Very nice use of the display threshold. The reason why that we have a display threshold there is because there's a taxiway that runs along there and you wouldn't want that to be uh, in the way of anybody else. There you go. Do our round out to our flare. Oh, nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. All right, yep, flaps up, full power. Now I'm gonna set our uh, direction heading back to Livermore. Remember that 80 knots, same, everything's all the same. Yep. All right, so now we wanna fly, once we get to a thousand feet, heading to 067. So about zero seven zero. Once we get to a thousand feet, very nice approach and very nice landing. You saw we were on the glide slope that entire time. Yeah, I thought the lights were like not working for a second. I was like, damn, they're not. <laughs> nope, we were. Uh, you were just that close to the to the glide slope. We were right on the top of it, and then once we got on it, we were we nailed it. We were right on red over white. Doesn't get any better than that. And not to mention it was a good landing. Yeah. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with your landings. Your landings are really good, actually. Sweet. Not yeah, bad so, at all. Once I nailed turning, that was the only thing I was worried about with landing. But... I got it. Alright. So, you, we got to head towards that heading club, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, because now we're going to be going directly into the wind. There you go. Very nice. nice move. And remember, we have that GPS needle. I already set us back to uh, uh, Livermore okay. for you. Alrighty. So you can always use that if you need any reference of where the, the magenta line is painted towards the airport. So if it's off to the left, I need to turn to the left. Correct. And you you kind of okay. you kind of intercept it. So you fly left until it gets to the center. When it gets to the center, then you turn on to the on the heading. Because we're pretty far left right. of it. And a good intercept heading is about 10 degrees or so. So that's good about right there. So yeah, fly zero six zero to to it. Yeah, there you go. So we'll, we'll wait for that needle to swing over to the middle, and then we'll turn on to it. Make sense? Right. Okay. Because we're, yeah. draw, we're drawing that imaginary line from us to the airport. What GPS does, it allows us to fly curvature of the Earth at a higher altitudes. Uh, with VOR, oh, okay. VOR navigation, we go from point to point to point which is a little less convenient, but it's just the way it's been done, still is today by commercial airliners. Hmm. Yeah, see how much more appealing these mountains are now? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It actually, actually looks like California. Yeah, it's not so deserty. <laughs> right, yeah. That actually was... some green to it. <laughs> I've already got the airport in sight, but that's yeah. only that's only because I know where it's at. Oh, I think I see the red light. You probably see the red. Yeah, you probably see the red light. It's just like straight up. Here, here, here it, it, it's off our nose, way out there to the right. You see the two buildings popped up out there, two hangars. Uh, I believe so. Yep. See how we're getting closer to that line. So watch what that needle does. We want to keep flying the okay. setting until we till we swing into it. 
Now what we're going to be doing here is we're not going to be doing a pattern approach into landing. We're going to be doing a straight in approach to runway 7. So <clears throat> if, if a controller were to be like uh, make left traffic or right traffic, they're telling you to do a pattern, right? Like we've been flying in pattern. Yeah. That rectangular uh, racetrack pattern. But we're going to be doing a straight yeah. in approach. We're just going to be flying straight into the runway since we're already on the heading. Okay. Because we're running, running, landing on runway seven, and the winds were out as it goes seven zero. They might have changed a little bit. Yeah, they're about zero eight zero now. So we'll have about a ten. Yeah, you see those red lights. So what we want to do yeah. for a, to do a straight in approach. Okay, you're you know how we normally do our pattern and we fly in on those. What we do on a straight in is we'll fly towards the runway until we get white on white, and then we'll descend from there down onto it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. The, and the way these Vassy and Pappy lights work is they don't just turn on. They're not lights just turn on. In real life, they're a, a light on a three degree slope. By a, a, It's a three degree mirror upward slope. So you're right. just you're just flying into what you're seeing down in the mirror. So you can fly oh, okay. the lights far, far away. We're right. Okay. So if you see that they're all all are they're all white now, aren't they? Yeah. I'm yeah. So. Now we can start our descent per, down. So you can pull out power at about twenty two hundred RPM. And we start a little, push that nose over and descend. And instead of descending to a, a coordinated altitude, we're just going to descend to the lights. To the color of the lights. Okay. We, we want those two red, two white, all the way down. And I'll tell you when we're going to uh, add our 10 degree flaps in, 20 degree in. Because it's based off a of distance more than anything. Currently right now, I'll just let you know we're five miles from the airport. Oh, you're flying tips. Forgot to turn those on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now go ahead and uh, fly a little left. Try to line up on that runway. Alrighty. While we descend, and you can pull power out to about 1500 RPM now, just to get us down a little faster without gaining too much airspeed. There you go. You can go ahead and dump in 10 degree flaps. It'll help us with this descent. There you go. See how it's like hitting the brakes, but allows your nose to drop down a little bit more. What happens whenever yeah. you put flaps in is you get better visibility over the nose. That's what flaps do. They give you better visibility over the nose. They, they create drag and lift at the same time. So go ahead and start pitching for 80, 80 knots and try to fly these lights. That'll help you out a little bit. See how it allows you to descend without picking up too much airspeed. Keep pitching for right. 80, 80 right now, though. We're two miles to the airport. When we get about a mile to the airport, we'll do final on final. I just want you to try to get these lights. There we go. Now we got the lights, so we can go final on final. So go 30 degree flat, pitch for 70, and remember use our uh, power for our altitude for the lights. Right. 
And I already know we're going to need power. I can already see us dropping. There you go. You're all right. And don't worry, because some of these glide slopes aren't very accurate in some of these default airports. Right. So it's no big deal. Man, come on. Fucking thing got all choppy on me. There you go. Wow, I'm getting like three frames per second now. I think Fraps screwed up. Oh, really? Yep, I think I'm out of room, probably. 